We have a very robust HISN program in Louisiana. We use it in a, a multifaceted aspects. We use it for law enforcement. We use it for our private sector outreach. We brought in uh, first responders. We have been able to customize it uh, greatly. You know, New Orleans is, is a city that obviously because of its history and its culture draws a large array of different events that come there. One being the NBA All-Star Game and, and we have this thing called Mardi Gras every year. In a large event like the Super Bowl, we created a HISN platform to capture everyone's information as they were inputting it into one spot so we could then share that with everyone as one spot to get into. The city was doing uh, different kinds of operations. They also were using HISN, so we were piggybacking on their HISN platform, what they had been created, and but they were able to capture the city's information along with uh, really the state and federal information and put it in one location. It was a very good tool at that time. The Gulf oil spill was a very unique situation for us. Because it was not on land, the Coast Guard was the agency in charge of the response, not the state of Louisiana. The Coast Guard used HISN extensively for the entire operation. Because we in the center used HISN, we actually became the component that briefed the, the governor on what was going on with the information we retained through the, through the Coast Guard and compiling that information because we had readily access to the information. So we were doing actually uh, a daily bulletin compiling all the information of all the operations in Louisiana that were being used to support uh, the Gulf oil spill. Uh, we used HISN a lot. And the best part is there's no cost. I mean, in the times where money is shrinking every day, knowing that I don't have to pay a maintenance fee of 20% a year uh, for this, it just allows me to dedicate grant dollars and state resources somewhere else. So it's been a tremendous effort for us.